In 1502, Urbino was conquered by the irrepressible fury of Duke Valentino, son of Pope Alessandro Borgia. Raffaello, promising and ambitious painter, could no longer stay in that city, but he did not forget it, and Urbino did not forget him. Giovanna Feltria, Federico's daughter, wrote a letter to the standard bearer of Florence for him to introduce Raffaello into the futuristic Tuscan city. It will be the presenter of this, Raffaello, painter from Urbino, who, having good talent at his work, has decided to spend some time in Florence to learn. A few years later, Raffaello wrote from Florence to his uncle Simone Ciarla, who took care of his affairs in Montefeltro. I need, if possible, to have a letter of recommendation to the standard bearer of Florence from the prefect. It would be very useful for me to have a certain workplace, which is his sanctity's choice to allocate. And the gates of Rome were thrown wide open to Raffaello. When peace returned to Urbino, the palace shone with a splendid Renaissance court, evoking the court created years before around Federico of Montefeltro. Entering the limpid forms of the Ducal Palace, you can see, in some room of representation, the portraits of Dukes Guidobaldo di Montefeltro and Elisabetta Gonzaga, painted by Raffaello. In the palace, there was also a self-portrait of the painter in a beret and black clothes, clean-shaven, graceful and young. For at least a century it was a reason for glory for Urbino and the Dukes, until it was taken to Florence for hereditary reasons, with the extinguishing of the Ducal dynasty. A different fate awaited four small panels. Travelling routes known only in parts, they arrived in France and England, where they remain today. Duke Guidobaldo, or Francesco Maria, Primo della Rovere, his grandson and heir, commissioned the paintings of San Michele and San Giorgio from Raffaello. Two more small allegorical panels decorated the rooms of the palace. Il Sogno del Cavalier, the Dream of the Cavalier, and Le Tre Grazie, the Three Graces emblematic paintings, exquisitely courtly, 